gang, today we embark, we embark on a journey, a journey to find, to find out how much, how much love does Dan have for Motueka? Is it bound by other half walls? Oh, does it spread out to other breweries? Might be. I don't know. We'll find out. And with that being said, this is another episode of Beds and Beer Swirls. Obviously, I'm Dan. That's Mike. Not so obviously I'm Mike, but Dan, tell me what beer could put you over the zenith of your Motueka single hopped journey. Uh, this is a beer, courtesy, viewer of the channel, Hot butcher. good friend, Kenny P. Oh, oh, Kenny P. He procured it for us uh-huh. from the Chicago area. He's a good guy. And uh, this is a beer, Hot Butcher for the World. <clears throat> Some may know them from our channel, many other YouTubers' channels. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was a brewery exclusive, and this is their tomato wedge. And this is an all 100% <gasps> Motueka hopped American oh, pale ale. This beer, I exclusively <sighs> sent messages and said, hey, I just like a can of this. Dan, let me ask you this real quick. Like, we keep up with a lot of breweries, beer releases uh, on the socials and whatnot. When we saw this one, interest peaked is an understatement, right? The (laughs) ultimate understatement. Yeah, I mean... (laughs) (laughs) We love a single hot beer. Boy, we like Motueka. Single hot beers are borderline the best when it comes to IPA. Because you really get to see what the brewery can do with the hop. You get to see what that crop of the hop is like. Uh, you get a high-end brewery like Hot Butcher, then you're even more excited. To I'm see very what interested to see it. what their crop or, or their batch of Motueka that they picked tastes right. like compared to like you know other half fighting whoever. I got even uh, more excited seeing APA. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, it's an American, American pale. All right, six uh, percent ABV. Perfect. Uh, this is canned on. 32724 so we are a month out Basically, today yeah, exactly um it says maximum tomato all right um let's let's dive let's in dive in Let, let's see what's going on um this will either make or break dan's spirit the channel could end today so here here's the thing oh yeah uh oh my goodness i recently all right all right i recently uh watched uh, a youtube video on the other half channel official and it was uh, I poured a lot. Sorry. That's all right, dude. Uh, you were excited for this beer. Come on. I uh they had other half Sam, the master brewer and mm-hmm. co-owner of Other Half on there, and he answered fan questions. Oh, yep, okay. And I remember they, this. They did like a <laughs> uh, a, a, a Mary F and Kill uh-huh. uh, <laughs> with hops now? and okay. stuff. And uh you know, anyways, it got a little talking, what's your favorite hop? And his favorite hop is Motwick. He loves the 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 tasting notes, much like I do, mm-hmm. uh, but he loves the versatility mm-hmm. that in a hazy it's great, in lagers and pilsners it's great, and in the American Pale Ale. So, see, I knew I wasn't crazy. If the freaking owner of Other Hat thinks it's the greatest hop in the world, I'm not wrong. It's not wrong. You know, Garrett will never watch this from uh, oh, no, yeah, but he hates Motueka. He said it, but he just put it in a beer. And do you think he was messing with us? I think he secretly loves. Yeah, it. he's got it. He's got it. Uh, that looks like an APA. It's a so very like watery orange, nice chill haze on it. Yeah. Thin, filmy head. Uh, Golden orange with just a uh, little bit of haze. Looks great. Almost like a copper amber thing. Oh, almost. On. Let's get a whiff on this bad boy. Swirl up a little bit. <gasps> Dan, Dan, do it with your mouth open. Oh, 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 oh. Well, we're off to a good start. I just wet my pants. Oh yeah. I mean, there is that <laughs> beautiful grassy and like sprite lemon lime oh, zest character. <laughs> So but like, so but good. they named it appropriately. The tomato wedge. It's got that green vegetal stock thing to it. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's a little green. Uh, it's very bright. Hyperbole is in full effect. So. Hyperbole, oh hyperbole. <sighs> Ready? Thanks, Kenny. Kenny. 
<laughs> Me and you. We're forever connected. So PBR made an APA. It wasn't anything like this. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Did they? Hey, you don't remember the, the Pabst APA? Never had it. Oh, boy. It was out for a hot minute, and I bought so much of it. It was delicious. Go ahead. Do you want to just sit there? <laughs> I'll, I'll talk. Uh... Mm. The nose carries over perfectly. It just gets enhanced on the palate. It's light. It's bouncy. It's airy. Uh, it's spritzy, but there's a, a nice, a creamy, almost... There, there's a subtle lip-smacking kind of sweetness to it. Um, it's... Uh, the Motueka hop shines in a way that few breweries can make it shine. Uh, all the notes of it, your dank vegetal aspects, they're coming out, they're bouncing around. It's blended perfectly with that normal Sprite kind of seven up, lemon lime, citrus. And it is a very, it's not, it's not really zesty. It's, it's very much a, a soda pop kind of bright fruitiness to it. Um, this is fantastic. I would crush that on this. <laughs> Love the ABV. Body's very appropriate. This beer makes me giggle. It, it literally, it's it just, mm. to me, for my... Palette, everything in my soul uh, is just like, it just works. It just meshes well. It, it's like, you know, like certain colognes, they just work with your mm -hmm. body profile, mm -hmm. like your skin, your scent, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It just, that's what Motoika does for me, like, especially when it's done like this. Uh, very correct. It's just like, yep. it's a nice, crisp, kind of light body thing, but then there's this kind of smooth, like really, yeah, a little creamy texture, but mm -hmm. like vegetation, huge green, stocky, grassy vegetation. Yeah, you. I'm just gonna like say everything you said, but like that lemon lime characteristic is just, I don't know. Balance. This, when, this beer is so balanced. When I found, when I got into like IPAs and hazy IPAs, and like when other half opened up here and I. I was mm -hmm. get, I'd get little tasters of the beers and beers I'd never had before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these are all good. And I remember, I have the picture, actually. I have the picture. I got a little sample of all, it was Motoika Daydream. Oh, yeah, okay. And I was outside at other half FLX, and it sits on like five, seven acres. Yeah. And it was a really sunny day, and I took my first sip, and I said, Wow, this is so different from any other beer I've had mm -hmm. here so far today, and it stuck with me. And just something about this hop, I just it's a it's a love affair. And, yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. I'm a fanboy, and Hop Butcher did it right. And I just I, I don't know, man. Love the APA style. This is my jam. It fits so well. This beer is so good. You know what? I, as much as I was like, oh, this would be good in a hazy. I just love the fact that they did an American pale ale. Absolutely crisp, clean. Yep. Uh, so drinkable. <laughs> Just so I, I'm not even drink. exaggerating. Like, I would have been at the brewery on release day, and I would have said, what's your limit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then you would have reached that limit. You would have gone out to get myself or Nikki or somebody else to go in and get more mm. of the limit. Uh, you want some tasting notes, Dan? Yeah. All right. Uh, juicy lime. Mm-hmm. Bright tropical. Yep. Candied orange. Okay. There you go. I, I agree I, with them, but I think they should have put like a, 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 a vegetal a, a vegetal note yeah. on there because I think it, it really grassiness. It, it, it that's what equals everything out. Like is a dank that, grassy. Yeah, like where's the pleasant dank? Where's the pleasant dank on there? Uh <clears throat> yeah. 
And you know, you don't get you don't get too many pale ales nowadays. Enjoy a good pale ale. I love it. I love a good American pale ale. Dude, I've been slamming Sierra Nevada pale ales. Yeah. Yeah. I I hope and Kenny said he really enjoyed this one, right? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah. This is a long video. It's okay. I don't care. It's okay. This is a great beer. You all rate it? <clears throat> Not really. Because what do you rate it? You're not starstruck. I am. I love this beer. Oh, okay. I'm letting you and shine and enjoy this beer. You were so excited. So here's like, the, I was excited, but I know you know. Here's the thing. For me personally, this is a four eight. I was gonna say four seven five in my head, and I'm thinking, all right, what else would I like from this beer? But I don't know what else I would like. So I know what I would like. What else would you like from this? I would like a slightly more I want more Motoyka. <laughs> After all this <laughs> After all this you're basically like, uh, but you're you kinda skimped on the Motoyka. I don't no. know what you were doing. No, no, no. no. What, no. What, no I, Everything I, I said before, hey, you take it with a few grains of salt. No, I, I, I think I think I what I meant by that was... What did you mean by that? Well, I, I think they could do another a dose of, like, dry hopping. Or wet hopping, actually. Oh, boy. What happened? Because I, I'd like a little bit more grassiness, I think. Okay. Um, and just, uh, you know, just a touch more. Okay. It's beautiful. Right. It's a beautiful it? symphony. Okay. All right. Just... I feel like you're just trying to convince yourself, but I'm sticking with four seven five. I think I no, it's a four eight. I, personally, I think it's delicious for what it is. A lot of people they're gonna give this like a four. This is it, yeah, because that's a parallel, right? And, and I and I know sometimes we split up ratings between personal and what what we think the beer is, but I'm I'm right there with personal and what the beer is. I, I think it's fantastic. I can. I can see what you're saying. If they had like maybe wet opted or something like that, that'd be a whole different fucking beer. I'm sure they uh, have, but I'm just saying like I would have like I would love an all out assault like for what this is for a six percent APA yeah, you know. single motorway. Okay, I recant. I recant my statement. I guess they can't. Do it's more. so it's so well done. It's soft too. God, so there, now that I've uh, drank all of it, it's um. There's like this. There's kind of the sweet syrupy thing going on in the back end. Hmm, interesting. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, really appreciate you uh, securing this beer for us to try. Um, this was this was a treat. Our day's probably over. I think Dan's peaked. So uh, down in the down in the description, we've got our link tree, all our links. Uh, check them out. Um, we'll link Kenny. I mean, it lasts more than thirty seconds, so hopefully you're satisfied. Yeah, it usually only gives me about 12 to 13. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, <laughs> cheers.